Okay, I think him coming to America was the most significant thing to ever happen in our species. Whoa. Silence. Not an internet porn? <laughs> no, that's just porn in another uh, medium. Right. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, yeah, internet porn is just a matter of degree, not a matter of yes. does it exist or does it not. Right. Okay. I think it was the most significant event to happen in our species. Kind of amazing when you stop and think about the fact that at that point in time, other than the Native Americans who lived here who were living a nomadic tribal existence, very few people that had the wheel, that had firearms, that had all these things that had already been achieved in the rest of the world had made their way to this place. So now watch, okay? Here's how it worked. Right. So you're going to hear... So I, I presume that you have some skepticism of this claim, as most people would, especially the, the Columbus haters who are out there. All right. I don't really have any skepticism <coughs> about it, to be honest with you. It okay, so let me, let me describe to you why I think this is true. Okay. And then you can tell me whether you, you agree or not. All right. Uh, we are hunter-gatherers. We haven't settled down yet. Early humans. And we're basically wandering. We're following the herds. All right. And then the Ice Age hits. Well, what is an Ice Age? An Ice Age means it is so cold that when the moisture evaporates from the oceans, goes to the clouds, the clouds go over the land, it doesn't rain, it snows. And the snow falls and then it stays. So the water that had lifted up from the ocean does not return to the ocean. It accumulates on the land. And this accumulation, when it's significant and sustained, we call glaciers. Glaciers is not itself a snowfall. It is compressed snow that's basically changed state into this, this ice river that flows very slowly back to the ocean. But the oceans are getting drained faster than they're getting replenished. So during the Ice Age, the ocean levels dropped, exposing the Bering Strait land bridge between Asia and what is now Alaska, basically North America. The, the, our ancestors who come out of Africa go into Europe, some stayed, others kept wandering. Some stayed low above the Mediterranean, others went high. They populate Asia. They keep walking because there's a land bridge there. They don't even know it's a bridge, it's just more land. So they walk and they enter North America. And from there, this kind of only way you can go is south at that point. The weather gets a little better. The Ice Age ends. The glaciers melt back into the oceans. The oceans level, ocean levels rise, closing the land bridge. Stranding a branch of the human species for 10,000 years. There's a lot to blame Columbus for, but he just happened to be the guy who did it first. Europe was coming to the New World no matter what. There, everybody was trying to find a, a faster trade route to the Indies. And so if it, would, if it wasn't Columbus, it would have been Arnold Schmednick, whatever, it doesn't matter. Somebody did that. And the rest is, as they say, history.